Dear students, you are welcome in the Education Department at Shahid Association. Our lesson today is expository essay. For today, we will talk about comparison and contrast essay. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more lessons and don't forget to activate the bell to stay notified. Our objective is to identify the structures of comparison and contrast essay. Before we start, do you prefer to go to uh, the mountain or beach and why? Let's talk about comparison and contrast essay. A comparison and contrast essay explains the similarities and differences between two topics, ideas, people or things. To compare, to identify the similarities between two things, while to contrast, to identify the differences between two things. You can follow these steps when, you, when writing a comparison and contrast essay. First, in the introduction, relevant information about the two topics being compared and contrasted. Include a thesis statement, purpose for comparing and contrasting. Support your thesis throughout the essay. Examples and details related to the thesis statement. Include all points of comparison and contrast. All points need to be discussed for each topic. Add specific details and examples. Illustrate similarities and differences. Have a conclusion. Summarize main ideas of the essay and include any final thoughts. Now there are two ways to organize a comparison contrast essay. The first way point by point organization or the second way block organization here are some signal words when you contrast use although different however in contrast instead of as opposite to, but not, on the contrary, unless, and why. When you compare, use alike, same as, similar to, similarly. Now let's talk about block arrangement. In the block arrangement, we need to start with the introduction in which you state your purpose, which is to discuss the differences between, for example, vacationing in the mountains or at the beach. At the body of your paragraph, you may start to talk with mountain, talk about the climate, types of activities, and the location. At the second body paragraph, you talk about the beach, the climate, types of activities, and the location. At the end, write your conclusion, wrap things up, and restate this statement. Thank you, my dear students. Today, we will talk about point-by-point -point arrangement. But before we start, let's remember some signal words you can use when you write a comparison and contrast essay. Introduction, in which you state your purpose, 
which is to discuss differences between vacation in the mountains or at the beach. This is an example. The body of your paragraph. First, difference between mountains and beaches in climate. First, you talk about mountains and peach as the second. Second difference between mountains and peaches are types of activities. You talk about the activities uh, in the mountains and the activities at the beach. The third difference between mountains and beaches is the location. Talk, talk about the location of the mountains or the beach. In the conclusion, you need to summarize the main ideas of the essay. Thanks for watching. If you liked this lesson, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more and don't forget to click the bell to get all the updates.